Already some excitement for the big boats who are on the starting line. J105s are off the line next, and this time the pin end looks strong. And Monkey Dust goes back for the night. Night series. And as they cross to take the gun, it's Mirage. It's race one of series two of the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday night races. Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson from T2P TV. Congratulations to all the winners of series one, and they are Lin Jin, Slam Duck, Whirlwind, Mumbles, Misty, Blue Jacket, The Mystery Machine, Valhalla, Aunt Jean, Occam's Razor, Snowstorm, Monkey Dust, QA2, Urban Legend, Ramrod, and Velocity. 30 seconds to pop up for the gun. Into the start we go, all the far 30s like this end. There's the gun, all clear. Everybody on starboard except one, Mach 5 bucks the trend against the grain. They'll head to the right. Now some of you might remember two weeks ago when Commodore Mark Myers got pulled over by the police for interfering with the yacht race, which we find quite funny. Here he's going incognito, brings a boat three times the size, definitely noticeable. Perf one and a perfect start for Dakota Girl. J35, bazing to windward. Good start for her as well. But the hero of this start is Peter Scheidt and Maggie Poor tacking the entire fleet. And now the competitive J105s, it's Doghouse and Mirage who saw Maggie start. They decide to start at the pin end as well, but no one able to tack on to port. Series one, as we mentioned, belonged to Pete McChesney. Well, so does an OCS in this start. He'll bear away and head downwind while the rest of the fleet heads up. It's Doghouse, the first to break away on the port, and they ta uh, cross everybody in the fleet. Nice job. Ray Wolf in the middle of the boat, making the calls. Back at the boat end with Perf 2. X Flag is up with this group as well. All the way down the line at the pin end is every single Etchells. A little bit of left-hand pressure has filled in, and no one is at the boat. Almost immediately, a handful of boats tack on to port. J30s are a bit more spread out across the line, actually dead even from the boat all the way down here to the pin. Still a really nice start for Ragdoll and crew.
question is which side will pay off the breeze bouncing back and forth from left to right. We're at the turning mark for most of the fleet. Out into the bay, it's the top mark for the Etchells. That's where Special Ed and Ed Holt are out in front. Second place, double handing it. I like the effort. And here's the boat in third place with five on board. Looks like they could trade a couple for second place. Like we said, for the rest of the fleet, it's a reach out into the bay. Steve Bartleman and Valhalla back out in front for the J-30s. It's Bump and then Ragdoll and then Pogo. And Dave Moss trying to squeeze in there. He's usually out in front aboard the white boat. Fourth place tonight. Back at the mark, this time with Perf 2, and the only boat nowhere in sight is Jim Mumper's Diamond in the rough, way out in front, and it makes sense. It's the biggest water line in the group. For most, it's a good lay line and actually a rum line to the next course. Chaos, though, is in a bit of trouble. Thin, will they make it? Well, I think the answer is no. Well, they do the right thing, tack out on port, but not before Slam Duck and Caddy Wampus are going to have something to say about that. And I think what they're going to say is starboard. The two woodwinds join the fun, and of course they join everybody at the Boatyard Bar and Grill afterwards. Charlie Yang often sails a race of his own by virtue of being the fastest boat on the Wednesday night race course. Stray Dog way out in front. So far, in fact, we can't see the next boat in A0, but we can see the crew spring into action. Here's the jive, lay line for the Leward Mark. Pretty darn good if you ask me. Into the mark and in control is straight up. A shorter course, of course, for the Harbor 20s has them leading the rest of the fleet to the finish line. Looks like a great fleet.
And the winner is Garth Hitchens aboard H2O. And with that, Series 2 is well underway. And I got to tell you, the weather this summer has been nothing less than spectacular. I hope I didn't just jinx it, but here we go again. We'll see what happens next Wednesday. I'm Tucker Thompson for T2P TV. Thanks for joining us. This is dedicated to taking people and their health to the next level. We do this through final corrective chiropractic, nutrition, exercise, and most importantly, patient education. Set up your appointment, give us a call. We look forward to meeting you and your family. Live, Live well. well. The Eastport Yacht Center on Back Creek, where the Severn meets the bay, is the perfect location for all your marine needs. It's a complete full service marina with new floating docks and bathhouse. For more information, visit www.esportyachtcenter.com.